The Park Rapids tennis team had an exceptional season, making it to the team's section final. But after a tough loss to East Grand Forks, the singles and doubles players had just one day to regroup and make history of their own. I knew that we just, it, it was done, we had to move on and that we had a chance, so needed to focus on that if we wanted to get anywhere. And what the Panthers got was champions in the section singles and doubles tournament for the first time in school history. In singles, Natalie Kinkle won 48 games to just two losses on her way to her first section crown. Second place was good last year, but first place, I don't know. I wanted, that was my goal all season. I just wanted to beat Jody from Roseau. She just wanted to be the section champ this year because she last year she got second and other years she really wanted to go and others were just a little better than her and she just really wanted to be the section champ this year. I was playing consistent during those matches because I knew I could beat everybody. So I just took it point by point and got all of them. <laughs> In doubles, senior Kendra Coburn and freshman Abby Morris, both traditional singles players, joined together and had to create quick chemistry to take down the field. It took a little bit, a, lot, a few practices was pretty hard, but um, once we got to the sections, we just kind of knew that we had to do it, so it just worked out good. I never thought I'd get this far at this young of an age. I knew it was possible, but I never thought it would happen. They'll have a tough task going against the top players in the state tomorrow, but they're already proud of how far they've come. I think we're just going in, trying to have fun, already happy that we made it this far, but we're also going to give it like our all. Just enjoy it because getting the state is so exciting and um, an accomplishment in itself. And that state tournament will kick off tomorrow morning as both Park Rapids teams will be playing, but they are not the only girls from our area making the trip down to the cities. As Jody Ostrowski from Roseau, as you heard, she finished second in that tournament, and Courtney Bowler from Pequot Lakes are both competing in the singles tournaments. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.